Andrew the Okra has started in a new school. It's the first lesson, and the other kids are gawking at him. Andrew is wearing a large cap to hide his horns. You can't wear a cap in class, says a boy. Andrew doesn't answer. But the teacher is strict. Take off that cap. Andrew doesn't want to. To the principal's office you go then. Andrew sits in the principal's office. Why won't you take off your cap? The principal asks. Andrew doesn't say a word. If you won't take off the cap, you'll have to be sent home. Andrew looks down at his feet. You will not be wearing a cap tomorrow. Andrew leaves with a sigh. How was your day, son? Stupid, yells Andrew. I hate the new school. Andrew goes into his room, slamming the door behind him. Mom looks at Dad. I wonder what's wrong. His dad gets up. I'd better have a talk with him. It's not always easy being an okra, Dad says. Especially in places where people don't know about okras. I hate being an okra, says Andrew. I want to be like everybody else. We might have horns and tails, but we're just as good as everybody else, says Dad. And we must use our abilities and magic to be helpful wherever we can. Dad looks proud. So tomorrow you go to school without the cap. The next day in school, Andrew is not wearing a cap. Everybody can see his horns and long tail. He is afraid that they'll make fun of him. But they're smiling and laughing in a friendly way. Andrew is happy. Maybe I do look all right, he thinks. A bunch of kids are dressed up as knights and warriors. They are role-playing. One boy is dressed up like an okra. He looks at Andrew. You look awesome! Come, join my team, he says. They are going to fight the warriors. The boy takes Andrew's hand. They play all day. Andrew is having a lot of fun. He has many new friends. At the end of the day, the children gather in the hall. We are going to find the best outfit, the principal says. Everybody looks around excitedly. Who will it be? And the winner of the best outfit is... Everybody holds their breath. Andrew from third grade. Everybody cheers as Andrew walks to the podium. He gets the pretty trophy and smiles. It has been the best day ever. It's an amazing outfit, says the principal. Could you tell the other children how you made it? That would be tough, answers Andrew. Since I am simply born with horns and pointy ears, everybody gasps. My tail is real too. Andrew tucks at his tail so everybody can see it. Outside, all of the kids want to feel Andrew's horns and tug at his tail. It is so cool that you are real ogre, they say. The boy that Andrew played with and a girl come over. They look quite alike. My name is Billy, and this is my sister, Rachel. Rachel smiles at Andrew. Do you want to play in the woods after school? That would be great, says Andrew. The three children play in the woods. Andrew explains how to build an okra layer to Billy, and he instructs Rachel how to find little elves and fairies in the undergrowth of the forest. You have to believe in them, he says. Now it's gotten late. 
they have to go home for dinner. They can play again tomorrow. Mom and Dad can't wait to hear how Andrew's day went. I have new friends, says Andrew with a smile. And I won a big trophy for the best outfit. But you are not in an outfit, says Mom. You are my darling ogre. She hugs Andrew and gives him a kiss. Ew, it's all wet, says Andrew. And such is the kiss of a true ogre, says Mom. Both she and Dad laugh. Andrew looks forward to another day in school tomorrow.